Eric Mother from Mother.com. Let's take a look at this stock here and we're taking a look at a two year weekly chart. And it is for WDC. It could be any chart for any instrument out there. But I'm going to use this to discuss this idea where we understand that in the market, especially as traders using charts, we have to take what we see on the charts as the only data to consider. In other words, we don't have to consider other factors. When we are looking at charts, we have to assume what the market is showing us is actually what is to be considered and nothing else. But there's a problem with that view. And the fundamental problem with that is there's a lot of fake moves in the market. And this is what makes trading difficult is it is impossible. I think it is anyway. It is impossible to pretty much filter out what is fake and what is real. And that's the challenge. Now I'll show you an example here of how this can be illustrated. For example, there is a period here where if I draw a box, I'll draw it somewhere around there. And what this gives us is a trading range where the stock was trading for more than 12 months, so more than a year. Now, obviously, we see this move here. And we can also see now from hindsight that this move was fake. But there was no way of telling at the time where you get a powerful breakout and then a follow through breakout, right? Which confirmed the previous weekly breakout. So that was a good breakout. But what happened here is you'd go on to lose all the gains pretty much and end up back in the box. And this is what makes trading difficult because all this was a designed move and it was fake. But at the time, if you are trading this, you are forced to consider what the market was doing, not knowing that at the end of the day, it was a fake move. The market would pretty much come back to the box where it had been trading for many months prior to this move. Now, what is interesting when I was looking at this is this weekly closing low and this weekly closing low are curiously all at the price of 85.29. In other words, you have number, number one, move higher. Number two, a follow through week higher. Number two. And then week number three, you got this big move lower. And then week number four, you have an unchanged week, slightly positive. All of this, before they start moving, the close was at 85.29. After all this fake move, the weekly close again was at 85.29, suggesting that this was a well-designed move, a fake move to trap people in both directions, either bulls or bears, because this was enough to confuse all market participants, ultimately, keeping most traders on the wrong side of this trade. Because if you bought the breakout, you subsequently saw a big correction taking all your profits away, ultimately leading to this big drop. If you were short before the move higher, then obviously this was a very strong sh short squeeze. And ultimately you would have been forced out of the trade during the breakout. So that move kept all traders on both sides pretty much on the wrong side of the trade. A very well designed move. Now, if you take a look at the RSI in that period, I'll draw one where we can see the RSI does show and confirm that this was a fake move, given the fact that it is uniform action above the trend line and back below it. And this is a challenge for traders. Understanding what is fake and what is real is always going to be a challenge. Eric Moad with Mother.com has always good luck. Peace and Blessings. E. A. C. S.